Yeah! That's so great! Went out and showed it off using the thing, burning stuff, all that good fun. And carefully put together. Here Arm. I'm holding it with my other hand at the moment, but it's just a, a test fit onto the flamethrower arm to hopefully make it look like a slick with all of the built-on armor elements just to look good. The lights are home. So we'll cut a little giant bulky crazy thing that's going on my arm, which is what I'm hoping for. So the flamethrower is now built. It's wired up with some electric lights. Checking control with Guys, check out the other videos where we showed you how we built the internals of the flamethrower. And I'll try and make the back actually just fit right over. Our flamethrower arm is built and functional. It's up and running, but at this point it does. It looks metallic. It looks really cool. Very, see that this upper arm portion is gonna end up being fairly large. But overall, this is gonna look like a We've got a bunch of them and now we need to make them look like something really. Always got more cool content for you to see. Check out more of the flamethrower here on the side. And if you hit this bomb in the middle, you'll be adding some other little Iron Man type box to go around that or something. Today we'll be taking the flamethrower arm that we built in the previous video and decorating it to make it look a little bit more. Going a little bit. Talk to you then. This handle's gotta be. There will be two basic sections divided at the hinge. We'll have an upper arm portion and a lower. They're a quarter of an inch thick. I get them at Hobby Lobby. Space for that. And we won't just leave that open. I'll end up going in and. Our solenoid. Once all three of those connection points are on there, it actually does a pretty good job of staying on lobby where they cost $1.27 each and pretty nice and snug. I want to make it look all sort of sleek. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. This bad boy on the two exhaust burners in the back, guys. And of course, where we just at this point, the cover piece that goes on top tanks finished product rather than the open the valve. So we're taking fuel from both. All right, it's not like completely strapped onto my be able to move in and out. When it's open, it fits, but when I close it, it runs into the thumb. Cartoon, evil mastermind sort of thing, which is more finished. See with the hinge. And this is doing pretty foam rest right up against that. That'll give it a little bit of support. We can see. Now I need to take all of the decorative armor portions off, paint it all up, put it. Ah. Pretty good, but I think what I want to be going for is the cartoon mad scientist look. So a plasti dip, then a primer, and then our colors. Our propane tanks, and then we've got a little circle up here in the front that fits right over our... Here's what we're gonna do. We've got some craft foam that will cut, glue, and paint, and then attach on this look thrown together, which it is. And if you like the mad scientist look, then this foam is going to be to hit it with the heat gun. We'll then go over it with a couple of layers of In the functional part of the arm. Strap this thing on and give it a test. This is what I was going for. Got our dragon logo here on the side. Let's fit the hinge in the cosmetic arm. Lines up pretty nice. Cool. The wood frame that I have here holding the bottles in place. I think that's kind of going to be a guide.
thrown together workings of a mad engineer. <laughs> Back on and attach the lighting in a little bit more permanent way. And at that point, arm portion. These sheets of craft foam are something that I love to use. I've used them quite a bit. A little knob on the side. I think it looks great. This sucker will be good to go. Step one, painting this. Hey guys, welcome. So, today I'm going to be reacting to Cookie Girl. Yeah, and uh, let's just get right into it, okay? Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, so there's a man staring at a screen, okay. Yeah. And he's noticing there are like cookies on the table and, and little crumbs. And this is making him feel something, I guess. Uh, and the cookies, they're like, they're like all crumbled up. So I guess like someone ate them, which I think is a really not nice thing to do to someone's cookies. Uh, and they're like leaving this trail. And he thinks it's weird, I guess. He's making these faces. Okay, so he's like, he's like following the cookie trail. Like it's going to lead him somewhere. Probably to like the culprit. Oh! Oh, it's me! <laughs> oh, I like... I'm just, I'm right there. I'm in the video. I'm just laying there. I had... <laughs> That's really fun. That's really fun. I had the cookies all along. Oh, wow. Oh, that was fun. That was really cool. Okay, well, yeah. I guess that's it. Well, then, yeah, goodbye.